we kind of get like pigeonholed yeah. as housewives. Mm-hmm. Like this is your character. This is your, and then you right. like kind of are like play up to it or something. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. But I'm not. I'm not doing that. I like to party. Jesus, honey, wax much? This is unwaxed. Get in, Lizzie. We're going shopping. With Sophia and Sistine Stallone. Can we just become best friends? Yep. Um, are you done chewing, Sophia? It's not gum. This isn't ASMR. What, what are you chewing? I'm chewing pretty much gummy vitamins because I'm stressed out. The fact that we have a bunch of guests today and we have to shoot more tonight. No, and it's a lot. Like, Wait, how do they taste? They're so one. good. No, yeah. honestly, they're so good. They kind of taste like a little bit of a Starburst consistency. Well, let's see. It says chill out, relax, and unwind. Take the edge off anytime, anywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Sounds good to me. I know. And I like anything that can make me calm, taste sweet, especially after I eat dinner and stuff. I need something, like, nice. Yeah, that little sugar kick. Yeah, especially if you go to bed. You want to feel calm. It's kind of a good... Well, it's kind of a perfect balance because not only do they have products to help you sleep, you're getting that little sugar fix. Yeah. And you're getting relaxed before bed. It's kind of the perfect thing. And you guys, I'm really not kidding when I say they're actually really good. And I'm excited to see how I feel because I am pretty stressed out today. And that's why at least 75, 90% of doctor visits are from stress-related issues, which is wild. That's an insane number. Well... Sophia and I can obviously attest to this. Many of us are operating on survival mode. Mm -hmm. We expect our skin, our bodies, our minds to thrive, especially being on camera when honestly we're running on empty all the time. Yeah, that's why we use Prima because it's California based and it is a new purpose-led CBD brand that is just targeted to make you feel your calmest and best. They are dedicated to help you rise above modern day stress. So every day is a little bit better Mm -hmm. with their doctor formulated, clinically validated, high performance products for the skin skin, body, and mind. I want to keep eating these gummies, but if you guys don't know where to start other than the gummies, which I highly recommend, you can always take their daily capsules that just help you be calm throughout the day. Or if you want, I'm trying to find the name of it. It's called Sleep Tight because Mm. I know that she struggles with this, but we are insomniacs. We don't sleep. So this has been amazing to our sleep pattern. This is actually the only thing that has worked. And I've tried nearly every product on the market. And Prima's Sleep CBD Mm -hmm. Chef's Kiss. So I hope you guys are already convinced enough about this. And so lucky for us, Prima is offering our listeners an exclusive, limited time, 20% off offer with the code UNWAXED. So please, you guys, do yourself a favor and get calm by going to Prima.co and using the code word UNWAXED to get that 20% off limited time offer. Guys, come on. If I'm saying that this tastes like a Starburst. Yeah. And you're going to be calm. Get the relief you guys deserve and you can feel better every day. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, Sophia's walking in right now. Get your ass in this chair. It's time to intro. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Unwaxed Podcast with your favorite sisters. Sistine. And Sophia. Wow, I haven't seen you that energetic in an intro in a long time. I know, it's count- I'm trying to counteract the CBD I just ingested. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Welcome back, you guys. Here, another week in New York, another episode. We're so excited about mm-hmm. our guests today. I mean, we keep saying that every time. Do you, you know what I was thinking about? We tell our guests at the end of every episode or the beginning of every episode how we are so excited and you're the special one for us. But you know what's the problem is? We, I had, a, that's so funny you said that because you think I are going to catch on? No, no, this is the thing. I feel like our audience is going to start catching on and then they're going to call us out for that. But we're not saying, I, mean, I promise you guys, we're not saying it just to say it. We no, actually we are, do get excited about every guest that wants to come on. They're probably thinking they're just trying to suck the fart out of my ass because yes. we are just kissing butts left and right. No, but yep. we really are excited about every single person. But you know, I think it's because we know that it's they take time out of their day. They're driving to the studio, getting interviewed for an hour, and it's for free. I and mean, we're not paying these guests to come on. We're like, we pay true. them with tequila bottles and cookies. But we do pay them with tequila. We do. We do give them some tequila bottles because you know we love tequila. But we do actually care about it. So I'm just hoping you guys, if you've caught on to that, it all comes from the heart. You know what? Genuine. I guarantee no one caught on, and we just made them aware of well, this. No, no, no. We, you. <laughs> You brought this up. I don't know why. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I've been obsessed. I just want to bring this up because I know we love talking about TV shows, reality shows. And one I'm getting hooked on once again because it's been out for so many seasons is Married at First Sight. And I just don't know where people find 
the confidence to put their trust in three reality show therapist TV stars to choose who they're going to marry legally. It's actually so smart. Without knowing their name, without knowing what they look like, their background, nothing. There's so many shows that I like. Kissing at first sight, married at first sight. <laughs> There's a love is blind. There's so many. Bl but no, why does everything have to be? You can't see the day person. Fiance. There's yeah. so many shows now that you Teen Mom. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, did you watch that recent like Teen Mom? I don't know if it was Teen Mom or I didn't know I was pregnant. That show. That show rocks. Is wild. First of all, how? How do you not? How, how are you pregnant? How do you not know? How do you not know? I mean, I watched one the other day. I've had my when bloating moments where I'm like considering. I'm like, there has to be like, going either on. it's a burrito or a baby. It's, <laughs> it's been a sus it's weekend. It's either the cauliflower or it is a child. Yeah, it's been a crazy weekend. We don't know either one. <laughs> but I was watching one recently, and she was kind of young, and she said that she just felt crampy and not really like herself, but nothing dramatic. She honestly thought she was just putting on weight. And then she was in the bathroom one evening and just, surprise, new she, family member. Pooped out a baby. Essentially. To poop down a baby. Imagine pushing so hard. <laughs> you know what? I don't. <laughs> baby Women that can give birth without an epidural. How good you, on you. How do you do it? They also, probably take Prima before. But I've also heard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Chill them out. They're like, pop a couple of gummies in there and we're good. <laughs> no, but I, I, I think about the, first of all, the needle for an epidural is insane. And it's supposed to go into your spine. But I've always heard from pregnant women that they don't even care at that point because you're in so much pain. That you're just like, give me the epidural. I don't know point. how I feel about childbirth. I don't know how I feel. You know about what? It. I'll tell you. Do you remember this? I didn't want kids for years growing up. When? Years. Years. Watch. Listen to this because you remember this moment. Hmm. I remember we're watching home videos on some old camcorder. And this was probably when I was like 10 or 11, whatever it was. And um, over one of the tapes, I guess my aunt had shot my mom's birth of Scar like Scarlett's birth. In the oh, worst I this. possible place to shoot it, right? So you guys, you guys saw everything. I, and it was an accident, lost my mind and vowed to never have a child because if that's what it looks like, this is what I'm. I can't do. do it. Listen, not judging anyone. To each their own. Me, however, I don't think I could let my partner be in the room. Because once no. you see it, you can't unsee he can it. See, no, he can be in the room. He got to be behind the curtain. No, I want mine in it's, the lobby. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Behind the curtain. No. You don't need to know what's behind there. My husband's going to be it. in the food court getting a Sammy. <laughs> Get, a Get a sandwich. Chilling out when the baby's all wiped and clean He's and pretty. He's still asking you is the, the burrito or the baby. You're um, going to be there. You're going to be there. Oh, yeah. Are you oh, kidding? Yeah. I'm probably going to be the one... First thing, I'm gonna be like, all right, team. <laughs> I watch enough Grey's Anatomy oh, to know what to do. Oh, damn it. I know I have to cut your kid's umbilical cord. Um, That's what I'm supposed to wait, do. Wait, why huh? do you, first of all, first of all, when did I ever say that you were gonna be the first What, you're gonna trust to Scarlett it? with scissors near you, or your baby? I mean, I'm not trusting you either. Trisha cut, our, our aunt cut moms. Oh, so it's, it, yeah, your family it a, member it, can do it. It's not hard. Do you want to cut my umbilical cord? I want to cut you, to be honest, sometimes. So, yeah, <laughs> so, it'll yeah, be the closest like, thing. Perfect. Okay. Well, I can't wait to cut yours, you know too. What? I'm going to cut <laughs> it. Sounds crazy. I'm, I'm going to, like, half do it and just kind of, like, tease you. <laughs> like, <laughs> cut a snowflake out. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, make it a lasso. Okay, you know what I've been watching? I have a bad habit of repeating shows because I'm uncreative and don't want to start something new. So I restarted Breaking Bad. I love Jesse Pinkman. Yeah. You know, they're, they're best friends. And Jesse Pinkman, I don't actually know his real name. So I'm going to go by Brian Cranston, right? Aaron no, Paul. that's Walter White. Aaron Paul. Aaron Paul. Aaron Paul. But Paul. Is it, isn't the guy that plays. Yeah, Brian Cranston. Yeah. Aaron Paul made Brian, aka Walter White, his uh, baby's godfather. Yes. Wow. How sweet is that? That's actually really nice. I know. That's really. Who would be your godmother? Godmother for your kid? It does it have to be a friend or can it be a family member? Oh, I don't know. You know? I, I actually have no idea. Well, it's, it just kind of depends. Like, what if you have a mental breakdown later in life and I just can't trust you? Or what if you're a good person? I'm I don't not, know. I'm like, I'm already set in the list. I think godparents can be... But see, I don't know if I'd want my kid. Because you're so strict. You're going to be such a strict mom. You're going to do everything by the books. Best schools. My kid is going go to, to be bed at six o'clock. Perfect. Yeah, but see, that's a little stressful for my kid. My kid's going to have a hair out of place. No, see, my kid's middle child energy, a little bit of both. But Scarlett's so far 
to the insane side of the spectrum where, you know, her kid is going to miss yeah. school every day. Well, I, I feel like I, I'll have to have a husband that's a little bit chill. He can be the chill dad. I can be the mom that is the one that the kids get mad about and then yeah. to dad about. Speaking of it's Scarlett, okay. speaking of Scarlett. Yeah. Scarlett um, planned herself a really fun 20th birthday. Yeah. And she goes, I'm going to rent a boat in Miami, have all my friends. And Sophia and I are like, this sounds sick. I'm like, wait, that sounds awesome. I let have me, a bikini. Let me pick up my outfit. Yeah, right. Here we go. Um, yeah, she didn't invite us. No. <laughs> and she also celebrated a month early. And now knowing that happened, she also has her birthday coming up. So that means she's going to have two birthdays. This child is a genius. She really does. She's a genius. She finesses mom and dad hard. She does. It's only, it's a uh, youngest child. So they do not They care get whatever what, they want. Whatever she wants. If I asked for a boat for my birthday two months ahead of time. They'd send you a tugboat. They'd be, <laughs> they'd I'd get a canoe. Do you want a banana boat? No, they'd give you a boogie board. <laughs> she would be rowing That's it. it. <laughs> they'd give you a boogie, boogie board. Boogie board, not even. Use your body. Body surf. <laughs> arm floaties. <laughs> oh, you need that. But when did we become the not cool sisters? <gasps> Like, look at, I'm the life of the do party. Do you see this? Look at, we're in a studio. Oh, we did this. We're in New York. We're cool. We're in New York. New Yorkers. New York. <laughs> Where's the pizza? <laughs> it's not anyway. bad. What, what, what did you do? You know, our, our guest is a true New Yorker today, and she would be ashamed to hear our terrible accent. I'll make sure not to say what I just said. So, Ever again. even though we just had a whole spiel of saying we're excited about every single person we have on, we truly are. Once again, so stoked about this person because you know, Sophia and I are avid reality TV watchers, big reality TV stars, and Hi. she just so happens to be one of our favorite characters on the Housewives of New York. So, stay, stay tuned. tuned. Okay, you guys, I'm schwitzing right now because oh. if you followed Sophia and I, you know, on the show how excited we are about this next guest. She is one of our favorite reality shows, mm -hmm. Real Housewives of New York. Recently, she released her memoir, Chaos Theory, Finding Meaning in the Madness, One Bad Decision at a Time. Such an epic name. And <laughs> she is the designer and creator of the clothing brand, Married to the Mob. This is the badass Leah McSweeney. <laughs> studio audience, studio audience. Clap, 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 clap. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. I actually love... And I'm, I'm not just saying this because you're here. I literally love you. Oh like, you came on to the show and we're the source of entertainment. You gave that show a facelift, literally. Literally. Yeah. You're so fun to watch. I want to get into all of it. But before we even started rolling, we yeah. have a freaky amount of things. Yeah, we really do. Because now I need to know birthdays. Okay. And I need to know what, like, because... We're talking about astrology and her sister's a cancer and so is Sistine and I'm a Virgo and so is she. Okay, what's your and sister's then, birthday? And then, wait. Oh, yeah, my daughter's a Gemini and your... My sister's a Gemini. Gemini. Right, exactly. So, oldest, blondes, her other sister, brunette. Yeah. I mean, Crazy. it's just it's weird. weird. It's really weird. So what's okay. your sister's birthday? June 30th. Oh, that's I'm June close. 27th. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's wow. Cool. Let's say ours at the same time. One, two, two three. three. August, August 27th. 27th. Oh my God! I have barely met anybody with August 27th oh, birthday. You got, like yeah. maybe it's twin so flames close. in a different life? Fuck. Yeah, That's literally. weird. We're going to be very, I can tell we're already pretty similar. This is I know. So this is really That's weird. Insane. Wait, that's like too much. And now you understand the dynamic between like our family members because yeah. you have like sister that's a cancer right. and a daughter that's a Gemini. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot of, literally the, the most big signs I would say. Just mm -hmm. like they're the most extra of their signs, you know? Like yes. Virgos were so yeah. heady, but we're so opinionated and like yeah. very stubborn, super emotional. Oh my God, I know. And so sensitive. So, so sensitive. But you know what a so cancer they can dish, is? But they can't take. I was going to say, I love to roast, but if you roast me back, I'm like, are you, like, that is so rude. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? And Scarlett, we All don't know done what we're going to get. Like, you're going to insult me. <laughs> and I don't know what your daughter is like, but I know with our sister Scarlett, she is like, you don't know what you're going to get with her. Like, sometimes yeah. she'll have 100% energy in something, or she'll completely shut off and be yeah. like, I don't feel like doing it. Totally. You know? That's my daughter. I feel like we already just know each other on a different I know. It's really strange. Isn't I guess you guys insane? don't even need to ask me anything. I know. I know. You're everything about page. me already. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> so funny. So, 
already meeting you in person, sometimes when you see someone on TV and then you meet them in person, it could be totally different. Yeah. You're very accurately represented on the show as you are in person. You're super yeah. sweet, so fun. First impression, yeah. amazing. Right. Thank do you, you think that the show accurately represented you? I do. I think the second season, I didn't get the greatest edit. I think they showed mm. me. I was. I had a hard season thirteen because mm -hmm. like I was like not happy and like dealing with like my grandmother's death and like the pandemic, right. and the. The edit showed me, I went from being angry to sad a lot. Oh, right, and they didn't right. show me sad. They showed oh, me angry. Because that's like more interesting, yeah, right? Like right. than me just like that's, crying, being like, I miss my upsetting, grandmother. Though. So they only showed me angry yeah. and not sad. And like that part sucks. But also, was I angry? Yeah. So like that was, you know, you can't put every single totally. thing that you film into the show. Right. So you know, I think that I think the first season I was I represented much better my, as myself, and the second season I just wasn't myself, and right. also didn't gr get what a great. What made you want to even go on to reality TV? Oh because God, I that's mean, like such a good I don't think people really know that it's a lot. I mean, it's huge. Look, time I understand commitment. like being Same. an actor, obviously behind the scenes, like you have a script, there's a dialogue, and you kind of know what you're going to do going into it. Yeah. When you have a camera in your face and you have to be yourself. It it's changes. hundred percent. It's crazy. And the people are judging you for who you are. You are, are not so, like yeah. some character you're playing no, on TV. No, and everything that's your dirty laundry is going to come out. And that's yep. the scariest part. So I like, know. why would you want to do that? I know. Why would I want to do that? I guess it was just something I felt like, how do I say no to this? Like, how because do I say no? Opportunity. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, how many people like get that opportunity? No, yeah. I mean, Everyone no wants to know what it's like. Everyone right. has that like thought in their head. Like, what would it be like, like if everyone knew who I was and I was right. on yeah. TV? Yeah, why not? And and then you like some people get that yeah. option, and now I have that, and I'm like, it's not that great. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> like, I'm yeah. like, okay. I right. understand the thought process because you started your clothing brand, Married to the Mob, before the show. Yeah. So you're also kind of looking at it like this is a great marketing tool. Of course, yeah, completely. Let's talk about the clothing brand, and then we'll go right back into it. Married to the Mob, you're repping. I'm it actually right now. repping it. I it wasn't looks even so good. Sick. Thank you. I'll it's send you guys some stuff. It, but yes, thank you. Where did the name come from? What made you want to start it? So I started the brand when I was 22. Oh my god, baby! I think yeah, in 2004, wow. and I started the brand actually because I saw that the like got my male counterparts that I was like hanging out with all had brands, streetwear mm -hmm. brands, and they were getting to travel for free. Oh. And I'm like, oh. I want to travel for free. Yeah. Like, they were going to Europe. They were going to Asia. And, like, I had been to yeah. Paris. I had been yeah. a little to Europe a little. But I was—and I loved it. And I was like, I need to travel more, right. you know? And I'm like, but how am I going to do this? I'm like, I'm going to start a brand. So you started it based on the, you want to the, travel. the pure excitement Honestly, of traveling. that was, like, the huge That's actually pretty motivator. That's hysterical. That's, that was oh, the I like huge that. motivator. And then where, why marry to the mob? So I used to joke around and say that I was, like, married to the mob because <laughs> I really was kind of, like, unemployable, but, like, was dating yeah. Rob and kind of, like, using his money to just, like, shop and, oh, like, okay. yeah, shop and, like, do yeah. my thing. And I really actually wanted to be, like, his, like, housewife. Yeah, like, yeah, I wanted right. to be that. Yeah. And then I ended up ha being an entrepreneur and, like, a businesswoman. And, I mean, that's great, but also, like— you know, it's a lot of work. It's not pretty sad. It's a lot of work. You had to play. It's a lot of work. You can just do whatever yeah. you Like, okay, like, I'm just going to so buy this. Or the like, universe yeah. took me in a whole different direction with yeah. the brand. And yeah. it just, like, took off. Well, it knew that you could handle it. Did I you get so, to right? travel? Did it work out? I got out? to travel there we all go. over the place. Oh so was your favorite then when you were young, going to? Well, my favorite probably was a trip I took to Malta with my sister, which wasn't really business related, but That's it was just fun. like, it was so cool. That's it was awesome. one of the best trips Sophia and I life. always talk about doing sister trips. And we're like, we got to make these memories so we could tell our kids. Remember that time? Yeah, because you have all the time. All the time. Yeah, I ended up in a stripper hot tub, like just crazy. Yeah, times. oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and my sister have a lot of those That's stories. That's what I'm saying. That's we really do. Yeah. We need, need those that. memories. And it's so nice, like, you understand, like, having a sister. Do you work with her ever? Like, on the brand, does she do something totally different? No, she does something totally different. Okay. She's on yeah. the show a bit, too. Does but she she's like on the show, yeah. Does she like it or no? You know, my sister's a very, like, my sister's the smartest person I know. And, like, I don't think that the audience really understands her mm -hmm. like right, right. some people do but like some people don't like they're just like why is she like a witch and she's weird I'm like she's just so much smarter than all of you <laughs> like it's <laughs> really it. simple yeah, like right. she's just like on another plane yeah she gets it like, right. she's right. just Fine. yeah totally. yeah there was a lot of family dynamic that went on with your storyline, yes. and especially your second season mm -hmm. there was a tumultuous relationship with your parents yeah that must have been really hard That's to hard air, to air. because by the way Behind closed doors, everyone has shit with their parents, but no one wants to blast it on TV. I know. Mm -hmm. So what was that like going well, through it? I think that, like, you know, I've always been an open book. Mm -hmm. And, like, I 
I think maybe I overshare. That's like a coping mechanism of mine. Yeah. So it Hi, wasn't me. hard for me. I'm a t- chatty Kathy. Like if I have a problem, I need to talk about it. Yeah, I can't exactly. Just it. Yeah. And also I'm like, I'm just going to tell you what's wrong with me up front. Right. Like, so you can figure out if you don't <laughs> yeah. like me or not now. Is that your tactic with you dating? Know? You're like, yes. this is all my issues. Yes. So if you like it, then stay Wait, with but it. I 100%. Think that's what, right? Some guys love it and some yeah. guys are like, bye. But, but that's, that's, that's kind of what you do with the girls on the show as well. And I think yeah. they all just yeah. judged you right off the bat because you were so vocal about sex and like you were an extra. And, yeah. like, you were much Which younger is, than all of them. Right. Right. Like, Every one yeah. of them right. talked about sex too. They were just like, they talk about come that on. Stuff. That's the like, thing. They talk about sex so uh, much. Like so Ramona, like I fucks people, but oh, like I, yeah, she does, and I don't. Like she oh does the whole like thing, like this. You know, that's the whole hypocrisy yeah. of what me and her have going on. Just you know? because she subliminally does sexual things doesn't mean she, she doesn't talk about sex. Like that right. is the same thing, just different like languages. You know what? You know? I think it's like we kind of get like pigeonholed yeah. as housewives mm-hmm. like this is your character this is your and then you right. like kind of are like play up to it or something right, right, you know right, right, right. but I'm not I'm not doing that like right. but I think they want me to right yeah. that's why they're like you're always talking about sex you're always and I'm like no I'm not right actually. right so they kind of Oh God! I'd be, it's like gaslighting you. Like they're kind, kind of. of riling you up. <laughs> like yeah, they're like you're things. doing this, and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not. actually not. I'm not. But I'm not. not. Like I'm See, actually that's, not. That's a little like yeah, that's scary. psychological warfare. It, it right. really yeah, is. It is. Did you ever feel like with the show when people would start to like make comments about the things you would do or say, whatever? It doesn't even matter. Did you ever feel like you had to filter yourself at any point, or were you just still sticking with your guns? Um, like, I mean, I, I actually, like, said on national television that I didn't want to vote, so I don't think I filter myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, like, if there's one thing that yeah, you don't sure. say, like, it's, it's like that, that's you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I just, I can't lie. Right. Like, I can't. You're that perfect also, reality that too. Also, I just can't. Yeah. Like, that's I don't also why that. you're so likable, though, because there's an authenticity yeah. that, that you But also, I'd rather people be like, well, you know what? You're fucking an irresponsible bitch and I hate you right. yeah. and me be like oh yeah I'm early voting guys like and be like good good girl we love right. you be, yeah, be you like hate, be I'd rather yeah. you hate me for who I am than love me for someone that I'm pretending yeah, to yeah. be but have you always been like that because that is yeah. like, you gotta have some thick skin to be that like oh I mean I'm a mess most of the time <laughs> over it no but you're but yeah. Yeah. you're honest it's with hard. who you are yeah. yeah but it's hard it's yeah. like really it's fucking hard, hard. it's yeah. hard especially when it's judging like who you truly are you're like okay people hate me for me, for me. like like they really do and I'm a people pleaser too like I'm kind of I'm very, like all I want to do I'm is kind of I'm a people pleaser though see I'm a people pleaser interesting yeah so I'm always heady I'm about too. like making sure that I'm saying the right thing doing the right thing mm. but it's also really hard for me to not be myself yeah. and it's also on the show is you can't really fake what you do because everyone can pick up on it if you're trying totally. to be too miss mm-hmm. goody two people shoes know. people know people yeah. they're not stupid is there, is there a moment that aired on tv that you were like shit I shouldn't have done shouldn't that shouldn't have done that I mean, maybe that that voting one. I mean, I was like, well, I could have, I could have just was like, that kept the my most responses shut, about know? was the people. No, just like I was like, you know what? I don't need to like like carry the torch and like be the sacrificial right. lamb yeah. of like I'm speaking for millions of people who you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I'll do it. Um, I don't know. There's really not that much where I was like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. That's well. That's why awesome. that's good. That's yeah. probably the best answer to give. There's things I wish I would have done. What okay, is that you would yes. have done? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I wish that I would have um, said more. Actually, I think I held back a bit. Season thirteen. Really? I think it, I was walking on eggshells a little. I, I saw that. Too. And I wish that I had like been a little more mm. vocal. Well, I just feel like you had a target on your back all the time, and people I did. were just like waiting yeah. Yeah. for you to open your mouth just to strike you. Exactly. Right. That's how I felt. Yeah. Are you going back for another season? Yeah. I don't know. Happening? I don't know. So wait, how does it even work? Because yeah. I'm curious. Are you saying you don't know? Do they just like do they tell they call you? Tell you very like last minute. Really? Would That's you do it again? Times. I yeah yeah I would. Yeah. He sound hesitant. Yeah, <laughs> I would. No, I would. You know, it's like now there's two shows that got split into two. So right, right, right. It was oh, there's two shows? But now they're splitting it into two shows. It's like Wait, a whole thing. really? Yeah, it's a whole thing. Wait, it's like a whole thing. It's like two different Do you get to pick houses? which one you want to be? No, I don't think it goes that way. I wish. Like, I, which wish I, had that. I wish I had that much yeah. juice. Yeah. That's basically, I'm like, well, I'm, I can't, yeah, I, I don't know which one I'm going to go on. I don't know yeah. if I'm going to go on either of them. And also, right, I right. think me wanting to go on it would be dependent upon, upon who's on those shows. Right. Yeah, because at the end true. of the yeah, day, I do need to be having fun. Yeah, absolutely. You know, or else what's the point of doing it? I totally agree. Well, I would like to see you on another season. Me too. And also, you, you could talk about your new book that's coming out, which I, I really want to talk yeah. about. Give us, the listeners, just some insight of 
why you decided to write it, what's it about, Okay. All of it. So Chaos Theory, um, Finding Meaning in the Madness, One Bad Decision at a Time, is a it. memoir, but it's very self-reflective. Yeah. It's not, like, prescriptive, like, how to, like— this is how you find inner peace and get sober or whatever. Right, right. But I do talk about how I found inner peace, how I found sobriety, or yeah. how I'm still looking for inner peace yeah, or whatever. Right, right. So, And it's very reflective. And it really starts, it talks a lot about, like, my 20s and my 30s oh, yeah. up until present time. I don't yeah. go too into, like, like my childhood and stuff like right, that. Right, right, know? right. Like, right. a little bit growing up in the city and things like that. But... And it's really about, health, like, mental health and addiction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. That's mainly and what And how it's long about. have you been sober so far? So I haven't had a drink in over two years. Wow. But I, but I restarted my day count because I was smoking weed. And okay. now I'm, like, not doing that so either. So that, you consider that as counting? Well, for, for me. For I you. don't yeah. judge anyone else. They yeah. can do whatever the totally, fuck they totally. want. You know? But it's like, I need to really, like, need to completely, like, yeah. cut all that shit out. That's um, hard to do. Yeah, it really it's is. A lot Especially of when you're, health. like, an addict and, like, you really right. want to not in your own brain most of the time, yeah. you know? So, what, what made you yeah, want to, like, to switch to being sober? Was there something because that... Because on the show, you, you were drinking in the beginning, like, the first time you were on it. Yeah, but that was, like, I had had nine years sober before that. And then, oh, I, and really? then I, I started drinking before I got casted on the show. Why was that? I don't... I just started drinking again. Because I was, like, stressed? I'm in a good place. No, oh, I was, like, like I can handle it. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I, I think I can do this different it. now. Okay. I couldn't clearly right. watch season 12. <laughs> was it watching? <laughs> By the way, the I was like, to not, be honest, the torches was the torches was best. Was it was fun. Come on. And and your, I'm really glad that my body relapse sick. like was actually like had some amazing like TV. Yeah, yeah, literally. yeah absolutely. Best like, I, boobs yeah. ever. Was it watching the show that made you want to switch? Or was it just no, like you? No, I actually quit drinking two days before the show aired. Really? Wow. So I didn't even wow. know what it was. So then you look like, like watched it back. And I had like, no idea if people were gonna like me. I had no idea what, what was gonna end up in the show. I yeah. just I stopped drinking because the pandemic happened, yeah, and I was yeah. like in a fucking house with my daughter and my yeah. ex and my sister and her baby, and I was like, I'm drinking a lot. And my ex was like, Rob was like, this is not how this shit is right, going down. Right, right, right. Like I'm not. Especially dealing when with you're this. all locked in. The, yeah, like, yeah. And I was together. like, oh shit, I better. How do you have such a good relationship with your ex? I, I feel like no how does it work? That's what I was gonna like, say. I mean, none of mine want to talk to me anymore. Honestly, I don't want to talk to any of them except for him. Why I don't, hate but you all guys, of them. You guys, Why don't you guys get together? <laughs> as long as he's married. I just don't want to suck his dick. Oh, okay. You point know what point, I mean? Point. That's literally point how point. I, that's like what I say. Yeah. Like, Is I he don't, not your type? Like, well, now he's, you know, I mean, yeah, not anymore. <laughs> like, I like the way 26-year-olds look <laughs> now. I mean, oh, so I'm you sorry. Younger? I mean, I find myself being attracted to younger yeah. guys. Wait, I'm so how are you finding younger dudes. guys in the city right now? Are you Dude, on an app? They're fucking hot. Like, they're, they're by the, the way, I was telling Sophia today, I was just walking the streets. I'm like, hot, hot. Everyone's attractive here. Yeah. Me and my daughter play this game. Ooh, when I love we your daughter. <laughs> when me, you know, my daughter's a savage. I love we, it. we always, like, take walks up the West Side Highway, yeah. and that's where, like, it's, like, is that where, central. That's where, is that where I should be? That's yes. where my friend told us to go. I'm going after Guys this. have their shirts off, they're jogging, and so we do this game of, like, who would you date? And, Stop. like, so it'll be, like, no, no, yes, yes. And she'll be, like, mom, what about that one? And she's saying no, no, yes, <laughs> Have you yes, ever picked too. up someone on the West Coast? Like, well, I don't talk to them. We just, like, say to ourselves, yes, like, yes, 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 no. I it's love really, that. Yeah, it's so pretty fun. fun. I love your daughter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait. That's she's actually so fun. Insane. I she's love so that. Cool. Like, she's so cool. And it was her idea. <laughs> Stop. Do you feel like you birthed? I wouldn't say let's play this game You her. You birthed your best friend. She's my, I know. I so cute. I know, my best friend. That's really cute. Is she allowed to start dating? You know, she's um she's allowed to like do I mean not do whatever she wants, but she's so good. Like yeah. she's a good girl. She's a good girl. That's like awesome. I give her like a late curfew sometimes. Like if she's out and she's like, I wanna stay out, I'll be like, Okay, come home at twelve, which my mother's like, That's fucking crazy. That's a oh. very nice curfew. I know. We it had is. a ten thirty. Yeah, we had ten thirty. But I'm right. like, I just I don't know. Like, I just trust don't her. want her to—I don't want to cage her in. Like, I don't want to do it, you, you know? know? there is something to be said about not putting so much restraint on the kid because I feel like there's some times where you say, no, 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 and all you want to do is just do it, you know? Exactly. We, yeah, we've had yeah. so many friends. We've heard so many stories of their parents just driving school into them, making them stay home. You have to study. You have to get these grades. And yeah. then they end up just being the craziest ones. I know. Yeah. And you know what? She is on honor roll. Like, oh, she's, for her. She loves to sew. She's like a fashion-y son the making. Awesome. She's really, like, pretty special. Are you That's dating awesome. right now? No. Oh, you're not? I've only had sex once in the last 12 months with a 26-year-old. And oh, so I, so I jinxed sex myself did by have, saying I'm sex positive wait, BS negative as a tagline. Oh, I fucked myself does this, over. Does this guy so good you've, like, quit all sex? 
No, I stopped. Or is he so he... bad? You're like, I need to be. No, he just no. Got, she he said just she got, loves twenty six year olds. He got so. too attached. Oh, do you think that's what happens with these younger guys? Maybe that Are you was the kidding? only. Look at her. You have that voodoo. was the only one. Voodoo like clam. I was just like the voodoo clam. The voodoo. You have voodoo clam. <laughs> she it's mesmerized. It's hypnotized. They hypnotize the boys. Yeah. They keep them coming. Once they make eye contact, they're like <laughs> locked for life. <laughs> But do you yeah. like ca- so you don't feel like casually dating? You're like at a place where you're like you know what? if it works it works. No, I mean I would. I just like I'm not like I'm so busy right now. Yeah, yeah. Like I really am. I'm so like into like myself right now. I love. That. I feel like you're great at flirting. Yeah, I am. Like, w- what's your tactic? Do you have like good? I just I'm actually really fucking like over. Like I'm just like I'll be um, like, what's your sign? <gasps> like what you know? Oh, I just like I'm super it, yeah. like into like just paying attention yeah. and like yeah. asking questions. Well, yeah, and, that's what you know, it is. But that's you how know, I. Flirt. I can't flirt sober. So do you have different, like, tactics now? Because, yeah, like, yeah. obviously when you're tipsy, it's really, like, it's easy, easy to yeah. get. Like, it's a totally different ballgame That's maybe actually sober. why I haven't been laid too much. Just because I've stopped it's drinking it's again. It's like, no, because <laughs> if I get rejected, tipsy, I'm like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> right, you yeah, yeah, know, exactly. it's also when you're meeting guys, you're usually at a bar. You can go, like, let's go get drinks. Yeah. Or whatever. I know, and now it's like, dinner. I'm not really going to bars. And if I yeah. go to bars, they're literally gay bars or drag queen bars. Exactly. Like, did I not I say only... I wanted to go to a drag bar today? Yes, she did. You got to tell me. Oh, I'll give you, you all tell me yeah, oh my I'll God, give you all, go. the, all the good ones. Oh, yeah. So I want to talk, go back to your book when you said that you discussed your early 20s and the lessons and everything that yeah. you learned. Sophie and I are in our early 20s. Mm-hmm. What do you think your biggest like regret was in your early 20s? Oh or something God. that you look back and like, what was I, I thinking? Was on, I, I was like searching for like validation in all the wrong places. Oh, really? Really? Where were yeah. you looking for? Like for in with dudes. Yeah, right, you know, right. For sure. And like, I mean, look, I, me and Rob were actually together, so I didn't really start doing that until we broke up, mm-hmm. and I got to, like, kind of relive and, like, oh, have my right. early 20s, like, mm-hmm. towards the end of my 20s totally. more. Just, like, picking the wrong guys. And, like, I had, I tolerated so much shit, and, yeah. like, yeah. now I would never. Like, if a guy, like, is, like, not into me, I'm like, okay, cool. You're like, okay, so cool. Con- but, like, before sort of I confidence. wouldn't leave him alone, no, exactly. I'd be like, what's going on? Right. Like, why don't you like me? Like, what's happening? Like, I, I feel I just like would confidence just comes with age. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, I, I feel yeah. like I'm, I am I know myself now, but I still seek validation from men, and I don't fully think I'm, like, perfect yet, or, like, I don't know. You'll like, never, I, feel like, I mean, the thing is, I'm still insecure. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm still insecure, because, like, everybody is, and that's human. Like, if you're, right. except for Luann, Countess Luann. Sh- I, is that real like, confidence? Yeah, yeah, what is up with that? That can't be I real. don't know. It's, like, borderline psychotic. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's really interesting. Are you friends you, with any of them? From yeah, the I love still? Luann. Okay. Like, oh, and okay, I say, good. so I'm saying that with all, like, all love. love. Yeah. All love. Oh, I mean, I want to ounce of her confidence. like, when I, it's wild. Really? Oh, yeah. And when you, if I actually, if I really wanted to get laid, I could call her and go to a bar. That woman knows how to pick up men. And she's, she's sober so too, good at right? Oh. I'm not sure. Oh, now, okay. But Whatever. <laughs> but regardless, like, she still was able to even when she yeah, was sober. Even so, sober, like, not sober, like she can do it no you matter what. You should do that. Go to her. Yeah. Home. Yeah. But the you problem literally is should. that I Does did. she like older guys no, though? This is, this is the issue. I did, I found, she found this hot guy for me. We were mm-hmm. making out the whole night. I go to the bathroom, I come back. She's fucking sucking face with him. No. Shut the... F- She's not. Yeah, she is. Did well, you freak out? I was laughing. Oh, come, come on. on. No. I would be so pissed. Like, no. come on. I Are thought it was kidding? hilarious. Are you I'm like, kidding? okay, I see I see you, Luann. She was like, let me just see if she She's likes like, him. Let She's, me know. In- She's like, let me show you. I might be older than you, bitch, but I still got it. And oh, you need to know that, like, God. I'm the countess. Well, like, was he a good makeout at least? Yeah, he was. He well, really was. Good. She got your sloppy seconds. Yeah, exactly. Your Eskimo sister. And then now. he was like, "I'm sorry." I'm like, "It's okay. I don't You're care." Like, but like, I don't want to make out with no, anymore. Like, we're not gonna do it again. Well, I mean, that's it so was funny. funny. It was really funny. I, was, I wasn't mad. How about is it. dating in the city though? I know you haven't been on a lot of horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. It's like terrible. It's oh pretty bad in LA. Recently, I had a crush. I actually ha- met someone who really like, and it was very like organic that I met the way I met yeah. him through, yeah. through friends and whatever. And he was flirting with me so much. I'm like, is he flirting with me? I'm like, wow, he's calling me. He's congratulating me on yeah. the book. He like was yeah. watching my Tamron Hall show video, calling me, telling me about it. And so finally, I was like, just super like, yeah, like upfront, right? Yeah. And then he kind of pulled back. And so after Passover, oh, when gosh. he was on his phone again, I was like, so what's up? Like, I feel like yeah. we were flirting, and then like you stopped because I'm like. I'm just gonna ask you. I don't care. Like I don't care. Why not? I agree. So and he was like, 
oh, I'm sorry. Like, I we I owe you a coffee. I'm like, a coffee? Like, why are you talking to me so formal? What's going on? He's like, okay, I'm actually like, I can't like marry a convert or someone who's been divorced because I'm a I'm like in this specific oh, okay. sect of Judaism okay. or whatever. And I'm like, dude, no judgment, totally respect it. Yeah. But you knew I was a convert from the get go. So Wait, play is there me? is there a part of Judaism where they can't marry converts? Yeah. Oh, I actually he's know a, that. It's, he's a Cohen, like a okay. Cohen and oh. Wait, what? Right. And so if he married a convert, he'd be giving, giving up the status of the Cohen. But I'm like, dude, listen, I converted to your religion, so I I respect it. I'm yeah. like, I'm not right. even judging you. Like, dude, get yourself a non divorced but just Jewish you know, girl. Please don't like, let I get me know it. before. But like, like yeah. damn, I thought we were gonna smash. <laughs> like, what? I thought like so we were gonna close. have Shabbat and then like yeah. not touch any electricity and just convert? be boning all day on <laughs> Saturday. That like I was amazing. looking yeah. forward to it. <laughs> Wait, why did you convert? That's an interesting question. I, from a young age, I've always been like spiritually like yeah. seeking. Even when I was a teenager on drugs, I swear I had such crazy like ex- like religious or spiritual experiences, mm-hmm. like going to, like, the fourth dimension, like, when I was on acid and, like, really, like, look, people take mushrooms and take, um, yeah. you know, ayahuasca and do all that to, like, bring themselves. Have you done ayahuasca? I haven't, and I would, never will. No, oh, scary. Um, no, I've scary. been there already. I don't need to do it. You know what no, I mean? And now, at this point in my totally. life, yeah, I don't think my much. brain could handle it. Yeah. So, I was always very, like, spiritual. I never minded. I went to Catholic school. I didn't mind it. I, lo- I love praying. But I just never connected with the Jesus part. Oh, okay. I just yeah. never connected with that part. With God, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but Jesus, not really. And that's no shade. Look, my mother's a devout Catholic. I respect yeah. it. My daughter goes to Catholic school. Yes, Great. we went to Catholic school. Well, yeah. so we, and went, I, yeah. we went to Catholic school, and I think it honestly depends on how the school teaches it. Right. Do you think the way that you learned it, you were like, I'm not able to connect no, with No, I don't. Or just I think it was general. just when I would pray, pray. Yeah. I would just pray to God. Okay. Not yeah, Jesus. Not it. And then as I got older, these specific pivotal things would happen. Like when I was 18, this girl told me to read a book called The Red Tent, which is about Jacob's wives. Yeah. And I read that and I felt very connected. Mm-hmm. And then like I started working with these Orthodox Jews and I felt very connected, learning about all the traditions and, and right. holidays and talking to rabbis. And I went to a Hare Krishna temple. Like, I've done a lot of stuff. Right, and then right. finally, I was like, I'm converting to Judaism because, like, that's just what's in my heart. Right. Yeah. And how's it been so far? Great. Like, great. Yeah, you love it's it. It's a lot yeah, of studying, I still, I still, No, it was two years. That's yeah, a, but, and I, I still, yeah. like, don't know anything. Like, right, I'm still right. like, you know, like, <laughs> I still don't know. Like, there's so much to learn. Yeah. Are you going to have a... Bat mitzvah. I know. My Jewish friends keep asking me this because my should. 40th birthday is August 27th. You should have and one. I'm like, maybe I I'll have some. You guys will definitely Please. be invited. Uh, definitely. Wait. I need to start thinking about it. It's you a big deal. I definitely yeah, should. Do you bring guys home to your parents? Like, um, still? Parents. Well, sometimes, I mean, I just, like— I just haven't, like, met— My mom's— I dated this guy for one year. He was Irish and Jewish. And my mom met him. You know, my family met him a bunch of times since we were dating for a year. Mm-hmm. But, like— I just haven't been dating in so long. No, like, do they, do you need their approval when you're dating someone? Oh, because no. no. They're like, okay. we're past What about your daughter? Do you ever introduce people to your daughter? She's rarely, barely met anybody. Okay. Yeah. I always feel like that, too, if yeah. you were like, no. You want to make sure it's like a good one. No, but you, you know what she that. made me do? Again, she's a savage. I love it. I was on Hinge, which I deleted because it's just too depressing. Um, and someone literally wrote to me, wow, this is so sad. You're on TV and you're okay. using this. I was going to say, like, you, you get honestly out can't. Of here. I was going to say, give me like horror stories on Hinge or like dating. Well, that guy that said that and then someone being like someone wrote if you're someone who watches reality TV such as Housewives please swipe left and I was like that's cool. so lame I know like, well I was on Hinge and I got about 30 messages that were like Rocky, Rambo's daughter, oh no way. I was like, oh I want to do that. I'm so horrible. I have a boyfriend now, but when I was on it years ago, people didn't believe my profile was real. They're like, you're a fake account. I what? mean, has anyone ever dated you because you were on TV? No, because I haven't been dating since I've been on TV. Okay, you're right. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but now in my head, I have that. Like, I'm like, is this person just like, like, if I find someone, am I going to know? Yeah. Like, I'm Maybe gonna guys want some- are not your thing anymore. Maybe you go for girls. I know, but listen, I've I've gone that way also, like, when I was younger and then not so younger. But, like, I just don't know if I can have a relationship. Like, I can, like, look at a woman sexually, but I don't—but maybe I can. Like, I I don't know. know. I'm open to it. I'm totally open to it. Yeah. And I've had, you know, crushes and connections with women before, but just, like, not in a while— 
And I've never had a woman really be like, can I take you on a date? Oh, like, in that romantic right. way. Someone needs to court you. So I think, like, mm-hmm. you, you know. No. See, so that's the thing. It's like, once the opportunity is there, you can, like, tell more so whether I'm or not open. I, I, I felt energy before from women where I'm yeah. like, oh, I could see this right. work. Like, I understand now. Like, waking up, like, could I envision myself waking up in the morning and looking and there's, like, yeah. a woman next to yeah. me that I love? Right. And I know maybe. you have to envision I don't know you have to envision that. that. Like, maybe totally I can. Right. I love your openness about sex and, like, yeah. what you're willing to talk about and share. We like, wouldn't be here so, if it wasn't for it's sex. It's so different. I still have so many hang-ups about sex, though. I, well, yeah, of course. You know? so, like, because we get so much mixed messaging. Yeah. And it's like... Should I be a whore? Should I not be? Like, and what do you I, want me to be? Like, my, value, right? my value is based on how many men I've slept with. And it should be only three. But also, I should be knowing how to take it from every angle. And, like, oh, a porn like, star. Like, what oh is it? Gosh. I'm so confused. Well, are you going to teach your daughter anything about sex early on? Does she know a lot of things? Because do, are you open with her about sex? And stuff? Oh, yeah. I mean, she knows I haven't had it in a while. Um, she's like, like, mom. She's, yeah, she's okay. like, yeah, she's like, you know, we don't, like, she doesn't really want to watch shows that have sex in them. Like, sometimes if there's a movie and there's, like, a sex scene we're both like that ah, yeah oh, right, 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 right 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 Ew, weird right um, but she had questions. But, you would be open to like. Oh my god, I would. I would answer anything yeah. for her. You know, she like recently. She we've been talking about when she's gonna. She's like, when am what am I gonna ever like a guy? Because I haven't. I'm oh like, my god, that was me. That was the same. I'm like, you're picky. <laughs> like you're picky and you're smart her. and Everyone like you're not. Was, she's not looking for validation yeah. through guys like yeah. some of the girls that she knows yeah. or whatever. And yeah. like that makes a difference. Like you, you're gonna probably kiss someone later. Maybe down the road. You know what I honestly, in my, like, when I think about how, I slept with so many guys between mm-hmm. breaking up with Rob and then, like, the next four years. Right. Like, I went on a fucking rampage. Fander. I'm thinking, like, most of these dudes, like, literally 70% of the sex I've had in my entire life, I fucking didn't even, like, Wait, enjoy or like the what, guy what or anything. What makes it good, though? Was it a connection that you have to have with someone beforehand, do you think? Or do you think they just have to have a mood? I right? think that it's a mixture of things. Like, there's one guy that, like, I had met in Spain and well, there you go. It's flew be back great. to Spain, By like, that, 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 two you weeks later. Sorry, you flew back. I flew t- back. I didn't hook up with him then. But, but the two weeks later, I flew mm-hmm. back because I was like, I've got to go. And my parents were like, you're having a manic episode. It's I'm not, like, this is not main media. Not this is me living my life, guys. <laughs> I like, love I'm going. Wait, so you flew to Spain and then we to sleep with this most, guy. Yeah, he was a of basketball player. Of course he's going to be great. Oh, he was, oh my God, he took me to this restaurant where there was an opera singer. Stop. Like that, like, it's like an opera. Like, the vibes sing- are immaculate. I'm on the, the, yeah. the motorcycle. Like, oh, oh, come on. It was, like, it was amazing. It's a movie. It's oh, like Vicky Cristina Barcelona. his dick was Humongous. Did you go through it like a depressive period after that? Oh, like, like after because it was mania. Because it's too great. Or, oh, I thought no, it was <laughs> great. Yeah, I'm like, through. what am I gonna do after him? No, but after that, I actually met a a guy who was 21. I was 31 at the time. What? I met a 21 year old and dated him for six months, and he really? kind of like. Yeah, and then oh, he wrote he, a terrible book about me after that. No, he Get didn't. Get out of here. He did. Wait. How did you know it was about you? It's you online it? only. It's not, like, published, but someone had sent but me the link to it. Oh, and he, Wait, what did they, he say? Oh, my God. He was saying the worst things about my mental health and oh. talking about how, like, I went crazy and, and I then I didn't want to fuck because of the meds, which was true. And then, like, I gave him a shitty birthday present, which, I'm sorry, I gave you a Goyard wallet. I guess he didn't like that. I'm sorry. Are you that's, kidding me? That's pretty nice. He, oh, my God. And they talk shit about Rob. I mean, Wait, it was terrible. He, he, gave every, he gave us all different names, and he, like, gave my brand a different name, but they were the cheesiest. It's literally, Come he's a terrible writer. On. <laughs> like, at least you're it writing was, It shit. was the most, when he t- talked about the sex parts, too, I was like, Bleh. He was, like, oh her my, wet. I have to say. Oh, it. God. It was insane. It was graphic? It was, gr- it's graphic AF. Like, oh I was like, God. wow, I guess you're still holding on to this did shit. I'm, you, like, 40. Did like, you ever respond to him or reach out and being like, what the hell is this? You know what? I actually wanted to reach out and apologize because oh, I, wow. yeah, because I felt like I must have done something so hurtful to him. But he's like, also I must have young. Him you so much. You're the one that, that got away. He That's was 21. Do you I also fucking, think it's just, he's immature? Him. You know? What? Yeah. Do you th- maybe think he's just immature? I don't know. I think I fucked him up. And I think I oh, I probably owe him an apology. That's what I got mm. from that. Oh, that's, that's nice of Actually, you, Actually, wait. Yeah, that's like nice. Mice. I'm like, call him and cuss him out. No. <laughs> She's like, I can't help that I'm a game changer in relationships. I'm that girl. <laughs> that's so good. I am. I'm sorry. You can write books, but I, I am. I felt bad. I was like, wow, he must be like, he's really holding on to this still. Like, <laughs> I, I must have been awesome. I must have done some Changed serious damage. Like, oh wow. God. I saw on the show, um, you once sexted with like a pita bread or something like over <laughs> your pita vagina chip. pita chip <laughs> was it a pita chip yeah Wait, so that's we're what... still friends me and him but 
It was the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Boy. yeah. Oh, did they show the actual picture of me with the pita? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. They didn't flash. No, to I think. That, I think. No, thank God. I think they probably. You Wait, showed but your what made you want to put like a pita chip over your cookie? Because he owns a pita factory. Oh, that's right. That makes sense. He owns a pita factory, and he had dropped me off some pita. Oh, that's hysterical. So I took a picture of me. It's really good pita, actually. I want to try all the restaurants in New York. Use like actually where I ordered from last night. I'm not eating bread right now. Uh, oh, I'm, like, no. I'm one of those girls right uh, now. I'm like, no bread, no sugar. So the, the pita came. I'm like, Kiki, you want the pita? She's like, no. I was like, all right. Oh, just, she, does she know? And no, but she was like, I'm not, I don't need any pita right now. She's mom. like, you but sexed it with throwing. it, mom. Yeah, I don't I want it. But it is really good pita. I need to try pita. Like, are you big on sexting? You think it works? Or do you like not I really can't. into it? I can't. Yeah, I think it, yeah. like, if it's the right vibe and like, but yeah. I would rather, if it, some guys get too, like, too graphic and descriptive. It's like, yeah, just, no, you it's, don't it's need to be hot. like, and then I'm going to bend you over and spread open your blah, blah, it's, blah. It's like, no, you just just be like, damn, I can't wait to, like, yeah. be your pussy. Like, that's cool. But just, don't, I don't need, like, up. I don't need a, like. A, a play-by-play. Yeah, <laughs> like a fucking graphic, like a novel. What if you said, like, a voice memo? We hate those. It would those. depend. Well, okay. We hate those. Oh I my hate God, voice you guys. Memos. I'm old, so I like sending voice memos oh to my, people. Oh, my God, no. But, but not, not like a lot of people are into it, though. Boy. Like, not... That's what I'm saying. What about I've never voice gotten memos? one of those. Mm. Mm. You like, should so send one, and then see if you get one back. I should, but who the fuck am I going to send Pita it to? Pita guy. Pita chip, the Jewish guy <laughs> that rejected me. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many. Like, Pita chip. Pita chip for testing out? Like, let me know if you think this is fun. No, no, because I already know he would not know what to say back. He's not, like, creative or, like, okay. Maybe, like, warm up. Send him, like, a bitmoji, like the moving like dog or something. <laughs> the worst like I want you to do me doggy. Like a that? dog. Oh my god. <laughs> like that's horrible. Cute. That's insane. Oh, you know what? He lives right by me. He doesn't have a girlfriend. We have great sex. I could have sex with him at any moment. But I said to him, he didn't help me after my boob job when he promised that he would. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you're done. I was like, no matter if I talk to you ever again, you will never ever fuck me ever again and you've held and you're not allowed to see that. my and i will boobs. never and you will never touch my new tits you will oh, never fucking see my wow. new tits you will never get this pussy ever again and that's facts and he's, he's come over and watch movies i'm like okay bye stop stop, stop. that is you're good he's probably like, like you're, does he call you like a tease he's like no he just he's no. like really okay I'm like <laughs> bye like, are you sure i don't even because i also don't want to like after that, I was like, no, mm, you're each not attracted. It turns you off. Yeah, it turned me I off. get it. I just feel like right now we should all just be in like a reading erotica type phase, or like, like write some erotica Dude, and like you, that's a, and you some, should and, do that. Yeah, that's that's I have written erotica. You have? Yeah, I read. I wrote Leah, some that's last your year. Book. Is yeah, it to be a publisher? Book. Or is it just? It was for um like a porn website. You Stop. Yeah. That's yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. It's actually, please, it's hot. I of course, the it's like so about bad. this girl who like sells this app and she's so rich and she's so used to like everybody doing what she wants, but she just wants like someone to fucking like take, take her. Take dominant. And be, yeah, yes. Yeah, and then, yeah. Sophia, just, you love yeah. apps. It's not like so real. It sounds it like you. my tr- <laughs> I know. I'm like trying to like manifest it for myself. I'm like, like, like can I mess manifest, manifest like a super billion dollar successful app? Like, business girl? I'm like a high yeah, rise, like floor And then the guys like a music executive. Uh, like, and oh, he's, you know those are gonna. Be, that'll do just yeah. fine. Wait, yeah, you should make that like the next thing though. But that would please, be really cool. Maybe, maybe I, please, I haven't seen there. like a really kind of more pop culture erotica yeah, thing right. going And no one's you know? done it in, like, Yeah, not, like, a cheesy, like, know, like You have, like, the perfect demographic, too. Yeah. You guys, I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, Is that okay? Completely. Do you oh mind? Please do, do it. it. I'm, I'm doing do it. it. Take notes. Write. I'm writing it. No, seriously. Because, no, I've been really wanting to write again. But I'm like, do I write more about my mental health? I'm so over-talking about that. Well, you did it. And it's out there. Yeah. And you would keep I talking think, about it. I want to ask you about it. Yeah, I think you've done that. Let's... Do something, do something fun and different. And something, something that's fun also and interesting and can keep your mind like fresh and always yeah. thinking. And sometimes, and also it can also tie in mental health stuff too. Anyway, totally. you know? sex and, is so tied into all. Of and that. you know what's totally. kind of funny is on TikTok, there's this thing called Book Talk, and a lot of people are reading from like TikTok book mm-hmm. recommendations, and a lot of the books are smutty and spicy. And, the and a lot well. of people like yeah. adding sex into books now. Yeah. And I mean, if you kind of use that with everything, that people are becoming a lot more open about. It's sex. a lot so, of fun to read. I can't even imagine how much fun you're gonna have writing. <laughs> 
Oh my god! I support. I, this. I love a new project. I'm we like, love telling it. you, that's a really Leona good idea. Virgo, All right, so. we got her next project. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Done, Leah. You guys yeah. are my career gurus. Oh, yeah. oh, Thank god, you. Cheers. We want I the could best. literally talk to you for hours. <laughs> yeah. You are so freaking <laughs> You're sweet. awesome. Oh but my god! Tell the everyone where they can find your socials, okay. your book, everything. I'm not on Twitter because it's toxic AF. But I you agree. can find me on Instagram at Leah Mob. You can purchase Chaos Theory anywhere. Like they sell books, it's there. And you can buy Married to the Mob on um, mttmnyc.com. And I also have a sustainable sleepwear company. Ooh, I'm going to send you guys a bunch of what? stuff. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Called Happy Place Brand. And you can also go to happyplacebrand.com and help save the earth. Oh, yeah, and yes. then look out for her new erotica cover. <laughs> <laughs> on top of you, all you of guys, that. It's dedicated the, to both of you. If the main <laughs> character is not named <laughs> Sophia, I'm an unlocked spot. She better be named Sophia. <laughs> I don't know I what else. Yes, Come on, I love it. We love you guys, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.